Make your way to a comfortable seated position. Cut. Make your way to a comfortable seated position. If you're using blocks, you might like to sit on a block. The blocks are optional here. Cut. Start again. Come on to a comfortable seated position on your mat. No props are necessary, but blocks might be nice to have for a couple of poses, but I'll offer options if you do not have blocks. If you prefer, you're welcome to sit on a block here and just gently rest your hands on your knees. Inhaling, lengthen the spine, reach the crown of your head a little taller. Exhale, feel your sit bones, your ankles. Connect with the mat below you. And breathe. Invite your breath to take its time, inhaling slowly and deeply. And exhaling equally slowly. Couple more breaths. Maybe use the exhale to release any tensions or stress you're feeling in your body today. Place your right hand on your left knee. Lengthen your spine as you inhale. Reach your left arm out to your side. And as you exhale, gently twist to the left, placing left hand on the mat behind you. Just invite your spine to twist without forcing. Come on back to center. Place both hands on your left knee. And now walk your hands forward over your left knee, but keep that right sit bone onto the mat. Again, a nice gentle stretch here. Inviting your body to stretch and twist when it's ready. And now walk your hands to center and reach your hands forward. Let your spine, your hips release. And now walk your hands to the right, pressing that left sit bone into the mat. Come on back up, placing both hands on your right knee. Keep your left hand on your right knee. Reach your right arm out to the side. Lengthen your spine as you inhale. Exhale, gently twist to the right. Right hand behind you. Come on back to center. Uncross your legs and come on to all fours, coming into tabletop. each wrist below each shoulder, each knee below each hip. As you inhale, open your chest, lower your belly and rib cage towards the mat, tilt your pelvis. As you inhale, fill up your lungs with the extra space you've created here. Exhale completely. Now on your next exhale, begin to round your back, stretching your back like a cat, lifting your spine towards the ceiling. Breathe here, feel the stretch. And on your next inhale, arch your back, open your chest. And exhale, round. Let your body Follow the breath. If one of these shapes is exactly what your body needs, just hang out there.
And on your next time you come through neutral spine, pause here and straighten the right leg, placing the right toes on the mat. Push the toes into the mat and gently push the heel back for a little stretch on that right calf. And then lower the right knee to beside the left and straighten the left leg, left toes on the mat. Put gently push that heel back. Lower the left knee to beside the right. Tuck your toes, lift your knees up and walk your feet forward to your hands. Bending your knees as much as you need to, bow forward. On your next inhale, come halfway up, nice flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing, arms up over your head. Exhale, palms together. And lower your hands. Inhaling, arms up. Soft knees, straight spine as you exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. And exhale, palms together and fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, palms together and fold. Inhaling, halfway up. Exhale, fold. And inhale, rise. Last time, palms together. Exhale, fold forward all the way. And pause here. Place both hands on the mat, or if you're using blocks, on blocks at any height. Feet are hip distance apart. Step your right foot back as far as you can. And adjust so your hands are on either side of your left foot. Softly let the hips lower towards the mat. Right knee is lifted. Maybe right leg is straightened. Just gently let the hips melt towards the mat. And then now lower that right knee to the mat and soften the hips forward. On your next inhale, reach your arms up. Still sending the hips forward. Lower both hands to the mat. Tuck the right toes. Lift that knee up and step the right foot forward beside the left and bow forward. Inhale, slowly rise to standing. Exhale, palms together. And lower your arms. Inhale, lift your arms up. Soft knees, straight spine as you fold on your next exhale. Hands on the mat or on blocks. Step your left foot right back. Hands on either side of the right foot. Left knee lifted. Think of letting the hips melt towards the mat. Now lower that left knee and send the hips forward. Just gently think of them melting forward, releasing forward. Inhale, reach your arms up. Breathe. Lower your hands to the mat. Lift the left knee up and step that foot forward beside the right and bow forward. Inhale, rise, arms up. Exhale, palms together. Release your hands. Have your feet hip distance apart at the front of your mat. Put all your weight into your left foot and step your right toes back behind you, a fairly big step back. 
Hands on hips, bend that left knee and then bring the right hip forward. Right heel can stay lifted or down with the toes pointed out. Inhale your arms up. Bend that left knee. Keep your left foot flat on the mat so knee and foot are parallel to each other. Lower your arms and interlace your fingers behind your back. Stretch your knuckles back, let your chest open wide. Breathe here, strong core. On your next exhale, bow forward to the inside of the left knee. Come on back up, release your hands and step your right foot forward to beside the left. Feet hip distance apart, parallel. Step your left foot back, big step back. Hands on hips. Bend your right knee. Left heel down with the toes pointed out or left heel lifted. Right knee and foot pointing in the same direction. Inhale your arms up. Pause, breathe. Soft shoulders as you stretch your fingertips up. Maybe deep in the lunge. Lower your arms, interlace your fingers behind your back. Stretch your knuckles back, let your chest open wide. Exhale, bow forward, the inside of the right knee. Slowly make your way back up, release your hands, and step your left foot forward. Inhale, arms up. Soft knees, straight spine as you fold forward on your exhale. Inhale, rise. Exhale, palms together. Release your hands. Turn and face the side of your mat and take your feet fairly wide. An approximate measurement is if you put your arms out, each ankle is directly below each wrist. Each foot flat on the mat, parallel to each other. Hands on hips. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, only bend at the hips, the hip flexor really, and fold forward halfway. Pause here. Option to extend your arms to the side, palms down, for more engagement. On your next exhale, come on back up. Arms up over your head, palms together. As you exhale, fold forward. Your hands might dangle here, maybe they reach the mat, or you can place them on your blocks at any height. Let's take a couple of breaths here. Invite your body to fold a little deeper without forcing. Inhale, rise to standing, arms up. Exhale, palms together. Release your hands. Pivot on your left heel and turn your left toes out so it's parallel to the length of the mat, but face the side of your mat. Legs stay straight, arms out to the side, palms forward. Squeeze your shoulder blades together here. Now keeping your legs straight, reach forward with your left hand. Just let that left hip flexor slide back. The right hip will come up. When you've gone, reached as far forward as you can, let your left arm lower. Option one is to rest the right hand on the right hip, but bring that right shoulder back. Option two is to reach the right arm up. One more breath, and slowly make your way back up and lower your arms. Pivot on the left heel, bringing those toes in. Inhale, arms up. On the next exhale, fold forward. Just let your body stretch and open when it's ready. Inhale, rise. 
Exhale, palms together. Release your hands. Now turn the right toes out, pivoting on the right heel. Legs stay straight, left shoulder comes back. Arms out to the side, shoulder blades together, stretch your fingertips away. Reach forward with the right hand. If that right knee bends, just come back up till it's straight. You're just hinging at that right hip. Reach forward, letting the right arm come down. Option one, left shoulder back, hand on hip, or left arm up. Breathe, find the best version of this pose for you in your body today. Slowly come on back up and lower your arms. Bring your right toes in. Walk your feet a little bit closer together so they're just wider than the hips. Arms up over your head. With your left hand, hold on to your right wrist. Reach your right arm up. Let your hips roll to the right, hands to the left. Back to center and switch sides with your right hand. Hold your left wrist, extend your left arm up. Hips to the left, hands to the right. And back to center and lower your hands. Just bring your feet to about hip distance apart or so. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Stretch your knuckles back, let your chest open wide. Bend your knees slightly so they're at least soft. Inhale here. Exhale, lead with your chest as you bow forward. Let your hands come up. Release your hands. Place your hands on the mat and make your way onto your knees. Keep your toes tucked and come up to a kneeling position. If you need extra padding for your knees, you can put a blanket under there, or you can also roll up your mat to double up for extra padding. Place each hand behind your hips as if you were wearing jeans and you put your hands in your pockets. Have the wrist at the right along your pelvic line. And then bring your elbows together. Let your chest open wide. Keep your hips directly above your knees. Breathe here. Try not to let your back arch. You're opening your chest, but bring your rib cage in, even though your chest is opening forward. Breathe here. And then release one hand and then the other. So if that's already enough of a chest opener, stay in that version for the next. I'm going to show you another version. You can also just stay in the first version if that's enough for you. This is option one of camel pose, Ustrasana. Option two is to stay here. In any option, keep your hips above your knees. Look straight ahead. Option two, lift one arm up and place it on the, uh, the heel behind you, keeping your chest forward. Try to keep your hips forward. They may want to slide back a bit. Breathe here. Then bring that arm forward. And now bring the other arm up and back, placing those fingertips on that heel, sending your chest forward. And now bring that arm forward. Again, you might come back to option one with your, the heels of your hands on your pelvis. And then option three, lift one arm up, place those fingers on the heel behind you. And now lift the other arm up, placing those fingers on the other heel. Send the hips and chest forward, shoulders back. For, for now, just look straight ahead, don't look up. 
Just look straight ahead. Let the chest open. Inhale deeply. One more breath. Bring one arm forward and the other. Place the tops of the feet on the mat. Lower your hips over your heels and gently rest in child's pose. Your forehead might rest on the mat or on your forearms or maybe you stack your hips. Take a couple of breaths here. Let your body release that last pose. And now place each hand on the mat and come back to tabletop. If you're at the front of your mat, just walk back. Keep your hips directly above your knees. Toes can be tucked or the tops of the feet on the mat. Doesn't really matter. From here, keeping your hips over your knees, walk your hands forward, as far forward as you can reach. And then let your chest lower towards the mat. Maybe let your forehead rest on the mat or let it dangle. Just let your chest open, let it melt towards the mat in this heart melting pose. Just be here for a couple more breaths. And then walk your hands under your shoulders and come to a seated position. Place your, straighten your legs and stretch them out in a V shape. If this is making your back round, one option is to sit on a block. Another option, if you don't have blocks, is just to have your hands on the mat behind you. And with your hands, push your upper body forward. Go as far forward as you can. If it's available to you, you can walk your hands forward. Rather than rounding your back, keep your spine straight and send your chest forward. Just looking straight ahead. Keep your each foot vertical. They may want to splay out or in. Just release into the stretch. Be here for six or seven breaths. Can you let go? Invite your body to soften. Slowly walk your hands back up. Bring the soles of your feet together. Have your legs in a diamond shape. And again, you can sit on a block here, or you can start with your hands on the mat behind you and with your hands, push your chest forward, possibly reaching forward with your hands and grabbing your feet. And just soften your chest forward. In this version, Keep your spine straight. Let your knees open away from you. You're just sending your chest forward. Breathe. Relax. One more breath. Slowly make your way back up. Bring your knees together. With your feet on the mat, knees bent. Slowly roll onto your back and softly hug your knees to your chest. 
Maybe you stay still here or rock your knees side to side. See what your body needs, what feels best right now. And then back to center. Hug your left leg to your chest and lower your right foot to the mat. Maybe you stay here if this already feels like a nice stretch. Or option to straighten that right leg. And now hug your right knee to your chest, either lowering your left foot to the mat or straightening the left leg. Now lower both feet to the mat, knees bent. Place your arms on the mat away from your body. Slide your hips to the right and bring your feet together. Slowly let your knees roll to the left as you turn your gaze to the right. Eyes can be open or closed. And then bring your knees and gaze back to center. Slide your hips to the left, feet together. Let your knees roll to the right as you turn your gaze to the left. And back to center. One by one, straighten each leg. Let your arms rest on the mat comfortably away from your body. Gaze can be soft or eyes can be closed. As you inhale, feel your body feel light and buoyant. And as you exhale, let your body melt into the mat and relax. And invite both your body and mind to rest in complete stillness in Shavasana. Softly deepen your breath. Gently bring awareness to your fingers and toes. Move your arms and legs. Maybe stretching your whole body, your arms, your legs. And gently hug your knees to your chest. And roll to one side. And slowly come up to a seated position. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.